energy, and the topic we'll be discussing today is child learning. Now, when you were a kid, how did you learn what was being taught to you? So another, or another way to say it is, like, how did you know what you know what you know, you know? <laughs> so, I'll be discussing the complexities of learning, the role of the student, and parental involvement. Now, first, let's examine the complexities of learning. Now, according to Learning to Believe, uh, challenges in children's acquisition <coughs> in the world picture. Um, this, is, this approaches the idea from more of a philosophical standpoint. Um, and this kind of highlights how the ideas of how children learn have changed over time. So according to this older text, Wittgenstein's um, uncertainty, it kind of uh, assumes that children are sort of more like an empty vessel that are just filled and they sort of trust everything and everything's more of a one-way street. What's put in front of them, they just instantly understand without any sort of problem. Uh, even though, if anyone's ever dealt with kids, you know, that's not necessarily the case. So, now this modern critique challenges that, that assumption by stating that they're not just the more smaller versions of adults, and that uh, different students, uh, when they're teaching them, may require different methods now, and that each kid has their own agency. Like for example, um, for my volunteer activity, I do uh, martial arts at uh, Calvary Baptist. And sometimes the kids, like some of the older ones or some of the really good ones, they can just uh, pick it up like, by showing them the movements. Other times I have to like, like physically get behind them, like grab a hold of them and move them one way or another to get them to really understand the concepts of these movements. And moving on. So this, this emphasizes that students have their own agency. And so this according, according to Sullivan and McDonough's uh, Seeking Consistency of Children, how they can feel about what's being taught them can really affect uh, their learning experience. You know, this uh, focused on uh, mathematics. Uh, so uh, this can be applied to broader set of uh, education. You know, again, back to when I'm, I'm up, I can tell like from what class starts, uh, you know, which students want to be there, which of them have had a bad day, or which of them are just, um, they just don't want to be there, so they're just like, I'm not going to learn today. And I have to adjust how I'm going to teach uh, to fit all of my students. So there are, of course, and then this also kind of shows that each student has to take personal responsibility uh, in the education process in order for them to get the most out of it. Finally, we have the role of parents, which is a critical part, since specifically for young children, they get most of their learning in how they view the world outside of the classroom. Um, specifically for, for example, let's say going to like museums or just um, going out and experiencing the world. And the parents need to take an active role in that. Um, from what uh, I've the research here in the Hayden uh, and Babcock's conversation on object manipulation. It's um, very easy for kids to sort of get lost in this big world like this. Now, and another way for parents to get involved is to play. Combines the parent and the child in the learning process since um, even though you might not think about it, um, even when kids, kids are playing, it's a form of learning for them and how to so, sort of like practicing um, and play what they're going to do later on. Now, for a quote from uh, Yeller's Reconceptualizing Play that children should be given the opportunity to self-select. It's like they should be given like, what they want to play with and how they, how they want to play. But parents and other adults um, should be able to encourage diverse contexts for playful explorations. So that, so that the parents are sort of there to guide the kid. Don't like, like just plop your kid in front of a, a movie and just you know, use that as the babysitter kid for a few hours. Uh, 
children, uh, they learn in a variety of ways, and it, you know, may require a bit of extra help if they're being a bit unwieldy. And overall, uh, with just a little help, I uh, think that uh, those kids are going to turn out just fine. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.